Deadpool and Wolverine. As with any review, this may contain spoilers. I enjoyed the film. I don't know yet if I liked it more than the first Deadpool, but I liked it more than Deadpool 2. The story is actually quite simple and straightforward when it's broken down to its core. Deadpool learns that a faction of the TVA, which was introduced in Loki on Disney+, Plus, is set to destroy his universe and recruits a reluctant Wolverine from another universe to help him stop the TVA. There's obviously more to the story and certain aspects are in introduced in this movie that will have a larger meaning in future MCU films. One of those aspects is the sacred timeline. I want to say that the term sacred timeline is the first time we hear it as far as the MCU films are concerned. It might have been mentioned in Loki, but I don't know. The Avengers movies talked about timelines, but I don't believe sacred timeline was mentioned specifically. For those unaware, the sacred timeline refers to the MCU films. Those that have Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, Black Panther, Panther, Doctor Strange, and many others. Deadpool, The X-Men, Fantastic Four, and the non-Tom Holland Spider-Man films are in other timelines. When Disney bought the film division of Fox, Disney now owns the rights to Deadpool, The X-Men, and The Fantastic Four. The speculation is that Marvel is going to take the previous Fox properties and bring them into the MCU sacred timeline. Spider-Man is a different story, and Sony still holds the rights to that character, but the Tom Holland Spider-Man is an exception and that version of Spider-Man is in the sacred timeline. Another term, anchor being, is also introduced in this film and I'm pretty confident this is the first time we're hearing about it in the MCU. I could be wrong though. Anchor being is a little trickier to explain but I'll do my best to explain it. It refers to a character that has some type of connection to a specific universe or timeline and when that character dies, that universe will also die. The universe won't die immediately after the anchor being dies but it does so gradually. There are a lot of unknowns when it comes to anchor beings and we'll see how the MCU explains it in future films. One of those questions is, who is the anchor being of the sacred timeline? One thing that seems pretty certain is that these two terms, sacred timeline and anchor being, are said to have a pivotal role going forward and more than likely culminate in Avengers Secret Wars. To get back to specifically Deadpool and Wolverine, the chemistry between Deadpool played by Ryan Reynolds and Wolverine played by Hugh Jackman was great. One character so serious while the other is constantly joking around was executed so well and that dynamic provided an overall fun experience. That's not to say that every joke worked but I would say that more often than not the jokes did land. If you didn't enjoy the jokes that's probably more on you at this point. The jokes are in line with the first two Deadpool movies and if you didn't enjoy the jokes in those two films then there's no reason to believe you'll enjoy this movie. Hugh Jackman is such a good actor. He was made to play Wolverine. Where Hugh Jackman shines is is with the close-up shots. He conveys so much emotion, it makes your heart break for Wolverine. He was the one who grounded this film. With a character like Deadpool, you need something or someone to ground or balance, which is probably the better term to use. In Deadpool 1, you had Vanessa and the love between them that balanced the movie. Deadpool 2 tried to do that with Cable, but it wasn't as successful, at least from what I can remember. I haven't watched it in years. Overall, Deadpool and Wolverine is very good and it may be worth watching. If you stuck around this long, why not give the video a like, try it out, see if it works, subscribe, and check out my other videos. Leave a comment, let me know what you think of the film. See you in the next review.